Hello strangers of the internet, in this video I'll be showing you how you can get the highest possible health in Hypixel Skyblock outside of dungeons. Why outside of dungeons? Because dungeon blessings are hard to account for and they also depend on crazy optimizations. This math is purely theoretical because no Skyblock player as of right now has all the requirements. I will also be ignoring absorption and assuming that the player is completely maxed. Let's get started. First off are the essentials that every Skyblock player should have. Number 1, 100 base health. You can't go below this number. Number 2, fairy souls, which are easter egg type items hidden across all public islands and which give stat boosts if you collect enough of them. There are 220 fairy souls currently in the game and they give a maximum of 592 health. Next up are skills. There are 3 skills that increase your base health. The first is farming, which goes up to level 60 and gives 242 health. The second is fishing, which goes up to level 50 and gives 192 health. The third, which is a little unexpected, is the catacombs aka dungeoneering skill. This skill gives health outside of dungeons. It goes up to level 50 and gives a maximum of 50 health. After skills, we have slayers. For each level of slayer you have, you get unique rewards, including stat boosts. From zombie slayer, you get a total of 34 health. From spider slayer, you do not get any, but from wolf slayer, you get 12, for a total of 46 health from slayers. Next, we have something called the essence shop. This shop offers perks at the cost of essences obtained from dungeons. The undead essence shop only gives boosts inside dungeons, but the Wither Essence Shop gives boosts everywhere. The Forbidden Health perk from the Wither Essence Shop gives up to 10 health at tier 5. There is also something called the Sentry Cake, given to players in Skyblock Year 100. One of the cakes, the Crab Colored Cake, gives 10 health when eaten. I would continue on things that give health, but an important thing to note is that there's an armor set which specializes on health. Mastiff Armor. Each piece gives 500 health by itself, and the full set bonus gives the absolute unit ability, which grants 50 health for every one critical damage. This is a massive amount, so from now on we'll be focusing on critical damage. If the armor has growth 7, it gets an extra 105 health on each of the 4 pieces. 10 hot potato books and 5 fuming potato books give each piece another 60 health, so the total is now 3902 health, ignoring the massive ability. We'll pause here with the health and begin focusing on critical damage. Your base critical damage is 50. Skills and fairy souls can't increase this number, but slayers can. Zombie slayer gives no critical damage, but spider slayer gives 14 and wolf slayer gives 3, for a total of 17 crit damage from slayers. With the Dwarven Mines update, new beacons were added, which give stat buffs for each profile. These beacons can give up to 10 crit damage at the highest tier. You can also hold weapons for additional crit damage. The weapon that gives the most crit damage is the Livid Dagger with 50 base crit damage. The Critical 7 enchant gives 70 crit damage, and the Suspicious Reforge gives 110 crit damage if the dagger is recombobulated to the Mythic Rarity. Next, Talismans. Talismans can be reforged to give extra stats, and they also give some stats on their own. The highest tier of talisman in each talisman family is the only one that gives reforged stats. There are 66 unique talismans, 13 legendary, 10 epic, 21 rare, 10 uncommon, and 12 common. You can recombobulate each of these to give them a higher rarity and higher reforged stats. So after recombobulating, we end up with 13 mythic, 10 legendary, 21 epic, 10 rare, and 12 uncommon. The best reforge for crit damage is Silky from the Luxurious Spool Reforge Stone, which gives 20 on Mythic Talismans, 15 on Legendary, 10 on Epic, 8 on Rare, 6 on Uncommon, and 5 on Common. The Mythic Talismans grant a total of 260 crit damage, the Legendaries give 150, the Epics give 210, Rares give 80, and Uncommons give 72. The Hegemony Artifact doubles reforge stats, so that's another 20 crit damage because it's mythic. Certain talismans also give base stats. The Red Claw Artifact gives 5 crit damage, and it's the only one which gives crit damage. 
we can also put enrichments on the mythic and legendary talismans. Each critical damage enrichment gives one crit damage, and there are 23 mythic and legendary talismans for an extra 23 crit damage. This brings the crit damage total to 1127. The bat artifact gives 5 health, and the new year cake bag gives 54 health if it is full of unique new year cakes. This brings the total health to 3961. Potions give some crit damage too. Critical 4 gives 40, and Spirit 4 gives another 40, for a total of 1207 crit damage. Now for Armor Reforges. We have a competition between Renowned and Ancient. Renowned gives some stats and increases all stats by 1%, while Ancient gives 50 crit damage. Ancient gives better stats in this scenario. Since Mastiff Armor is epic, it can be recombobulated to Legendary, and Legendary Ancient Armor gives 7 health and 50 crit damage per piece. No more normal enchants will help, but there's an ultimate enchant called Legion, which at level 5 increases crit damage but not health by 0.35% per player near you up to 20 players. If each of the Mastiff Armor pieces has Legion 5 and there are 20 players near you, you get plus 7% stats per piece for a total of plus 28% crit damage. Mayor Jerry also gives plus 10% stats to everyone. I don't actually know if Legion and Jerry stack multiplicatively or additively, and Jerry isn't here to check, so I'll just assume it's additive for simplicity. Finally, we arrive at pets. The best pet is the Blaze pet. It gives plus 20% health and plus 20% crit damage in the Blazing Fortress, and it also doubles the Hot Potato books. For maximum crit damage, the blaze should hold serrated claws for plus 25 crit damage. Blaze normally doesn't give health or crit damage as stats, but the serrated claws give it some. So we can then put the Chimera 5 ultimate enchantment on the Livid Dagger to copy the pet stats and give an extra 25 crit damage. Again, I don't know if Blaze and Jerry stack multiplicatively or additively, and Jerry isn't here to check. So I'll just assume it's additive for simplicity once more. Now we end up with 4,229 health, 1,457 crit damage, plus 30% health, and plus 58% crit damage. The reason why I haven't factored in the plus percent stats yet is because crit damage actually stacks twice. Once from plus percent crit damage, and again from plus percent health. So now, factoring in the increased stats, we have 5,497.7 health and 2,302.06 crit damage. With the Mastiff Armor ability, the crit damage gives 115,103 health, which after adding in the plus 30% health increase, gives 149,633.9 health. Adding in the 5,497.7 and rounding, we get 155,131 health. And that's the maximum health possible outside dungeons. If I made any mistakes, please let me know in the comments. If I did actually make a mistake, the updated max health will be in the pinned comment. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, dislike it, and also tell me what you didn't like about it. I'll hopefully be finding the max for each of the other stats in future videos. Anyway, bye!